Welcome. In this video, we are going to take a look at problem 67. It is from chapter 29 of College Physics 2E by OpenStax. In this problem, we have the lifetime. So we have the delta T for a highly unstable nucleus. And we need to find the smallest uncertainty in its decay energy and compare that with the rest energy of an electron. All right, so let's write down what we know. And that is delta T is 10 to the minus 20 seconds. In part A, we're going to be looking for delta E. And from the Heisenberg uncertainty principle for energy and time, we have delta E times delta T. So these are the uncertainties in energy and time. We multiply those, and they are greater or equal to h over 4 pi. So that means delta E is greater than or equal to h over 4 pi delta T. Okay. So the uncertainty in the energy is greater than or equal to. Okay, h is Planck's constant. 6.626 times 10 to the minus 34 joules times seconds. We're going to divide that by 4 pi, and we're going to multiply the 4 pi by 10 to the minus 20 seconds. So delta E is greater than or equal to 5.27 times 10 to the minus 15 joules. Okay, let's turn that into electron volts. One electron volt is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. That gives us 3.30 times 10 to the fourth. EVs, and let's turn that into mega electron volts. One mega electron volt is 10 to the six electron volts. So delta E is greater than or equal to 3.30 times 10 to the minus two mega electron volts. That means the smallest uncertainty, the smallest delta E is equal to 3.30 times 10 to the minus 2 mega electron volts. Right, because the delta E is greater than or equal to that. So the smallest one is equal to that. Okay, now we're going to compare this to the rest energy of an electron. Okay, so the rest energy of an electron. We find this with E naught is equal to mc squared. The mass of an electron is 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31 kilograms. C is the speed of light. So we're going to multiply that by 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. And we're going to square that. We get E naught is 8.199 times 10 to the minus 14 joules. Convert that to EVs. 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 joules for EV. And so we get E naught 
is 5.12 times 10 to the fifth EVs. Convert that to mega electron volts. One mega electron volt is 10 to the six electron volts. And we find the rest energy of the electron is 0.512 mega electron volts. And so now we can compare by looking at the uncertainty divided by the rest energy. So we have 3.30 times 10 to the minus 2 mega electron volts divided by 0.512 mega electron volts. And that works out to be 6.43 times 10 to the minus 2. Okay, I hope you found that helpful. Let me know in the comment section if you have any questions. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.